guys, welcome to welcome back to my channel. My name is Meg. I do fashion lifestyle videos every single week. So if you do like that type of content, make sure to subscribe and check out my other videos. I also have a fashion Instagram, so definitely check that out if you are interested. So as you guys already know, I am doing a H&M haul, but I have got a really exciting brand that I want to first introduce you to. If you don't know them, they are called Anna Luisa, and they've kindly sent me across three pairs of their earrings. And when I say I'm obsessed, let me show you. The packaging is the cutest thing ever. It comes in this little recyclable box. And then the actual earrings come in these cute little pouches. So these are so ideal for storing your earrings in and keeping them protected. As for the actual earrings, I got sent three pairs and this is the first pair that I'm actually wearing now. So all three pairs that I got are very dainty because I just wanted some hoops that weren't gonna rust that I could wear every day. And I have been wearing these for like three weeks now no sign of rust and I have very sensitive ears and it's because they are the most exceptional quality. They're made to be long lasting pieces so whatever you invest in you're literally going to get your money's worth because they will last you years. When I get cheaper brands my ears go blue within like two days so, so these are ideal for anyone that wants to actually invest in quality. When it comes to the price there's no crazy markup so what you pay for is what you get. And if you care about the planet, which I should hope you do, they do offset 100% of their carbon emissions, which is just absolutely amazing. It's so important to support brands that actually have good values and care. And not to mention, they actually have 20% off the entire website, so now is a really good time to get your goodies. You can use the link in my description, which will take you directly to the website, and then you can choose exactly what you want. As always, I get so excited to collab with Anna Luisa because they honestly have my heart, and I would not go anywhere else for my jewelry now. So hopefully, I've hooked you up to an amazing jewelry brand. But now, let's get into the heart. So this top, it isn't actually my normal style, but I'm so tempted to keep it because I feel amazing in it. So I feel like this is especially good if you have got itty bitty titties because you are quite exposed and it's quite a thin material, but it just is doing bits. That's all I can say. Perfect for like a date night top with maybe a blazer. I just feel like you could wear this with so many different things. You can dress it up, dress it down. And then I also got these trousers, which are flares, but they don't really fit me very well. They're not very elasticated. Um, so these are gonna have to be a no, but if you have a different body type to me, they are pretty comfortable. They're just really tight around my thighs and there's like excess fabric as well. So not for me, but I do love a good flare. Next, we got this really cute kind of denim patchwork dress thing. <laughs> Um, it's very oversized. I've always been a fan of patchwork, but I've never actually owned any. But I can't say I love this enough to keep it. I think with a belt, it would add a bit more shape. So at the moment, I'm literally swamped. So it'd be more like this. Just can't be bothered to put a belt on. But I am a lover of denim, so can't really go wrong. Um, a bag. Did you see me throw that to myself? Because there's no one there. I don't know how people do it. Um, just add a little bit of making my way downtown. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think very, very cute. Just needs to be jabbed up a bit. Okay, I do not like this blazer. I feel like I love oversized blazers, but I hate when the buttons are like that low because it just looks like it's been dragged down. I don't know if it's just me, but I just feel like it doesn't fit how I'd want it to, which is a shame because it's such a nice color and I feel like light blazers are so versatile, but it's just, it's not a vibe. And then I've also paired it with this, um, um, what are they called? Unitard, I think they're called unitards. Um, I actually got this specifically because I'm going out next week and I've got like a shirt dress and I thought, well, what if I get too hot? If I take off the shirt dress, what I'm gonna wear under it? And I thought, a unitard. So that's why I got it. And it is really flattering from the front and this is how long it is. <gasps> but the back, there's like this really big random gap for some reason and I don't know why because the rest of it fits perfectly. Like it's really figure hugging, but then, so I don't know what to do because if I size down, the rest of it won't fit. Bit stuck on that one. And then I'm like, does it matter? Because are people really gonna be looking at that? And I'm like, well, I want it to fit well. I may have to rethink that. And yeah, I see so many people wear unitards with blazers and I'm just like, damn, shawty. So I thought I'd hop on the trend. So obviously this top is cute as hell, but it's so itchy. Like, you know, when the fabric is just like, ee -ee -ee -ee. I can't, it feels like I'm wearing hay. I don't know why people do that because they can easily just line the under bit, like the bit that touches your skin with something soft, no? Um, so unfortunately I could not keep this just for that reason. It's really, especially around my neck, it just feels like someone's scratching me. So not a vibe, but it is so pretty. So it's a shame. This is what it looks like up close. And the back where I've really badly <laughs> hidden the label. And then I've got these trousers. I feel like H&M are good for trousers, but not for me because what is that? 
I think they need to be more high waisted, elasticated something because it's not working. And it's a shame because they're really nice, like work trousers. They're just like really simple, yeah, work trousers. But um, just the waist is letting them down, that's all. But if you guys, again, have a different figure to me, these could definitely work for you and they are so, so comfortable. So it's a bit of a shame. This top reminds me of like a slouchy painter, but to be fair, I feel like the idea of it looks better than it actually looks, like it's not very well. But then I don't know, because tucked in it is quite cute. Hmm. I don't know, I can't decide. It's not enough for me to keep it for sure, but I feel like maybe if you layered up some necklaces or something with it, it would look a bit more jazzy. But then I don't know what else I'd wear this with, like, would it work with a puffer jacket? Definitely not a blazer. I think I'd wear it with flares, not with like smart trousers, just to add a bit more shape because it is like so slouchy. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I don't know. It's not as vibey as I thought it was going to be. So, a bit disappointing, isn't it? But I feel like I'm the right person in rocket, so maybe it's just not suited to me. Brown is honestly the most beautiful clothing colour at the moment, like I'm obsessed with it. Everything has to be brown. Nail, skin, hair, clothes, brown. Everything brown. Um, but yeah, they don't fit properly. They're like, as you can see, there's like an awkward gap there. And like, while I could keep them wear a belt because they're so comfortable, I hate having to rely on a belt for trousers to fit because sometimes you have to do it so tight that when you sit down, it's just not comfortable. So, ugh, a bit annoying. But these are the jeans. They kind of go out a bit at the bottom. They're not tight at all. Like, they honestly are so comfortable. So now I'm actually tempted to put a belt on just to try it because I can't part with them. And then there's even like badges and stuff. So there's one here and then there's something here. Can't really read what it says to be fair, but they are very me jeans and I'm a bit obsessed. So I've put a belt on and it's actually on quite loose and now they fit so much better and I'm really tempted to keep them. My bank says no, as usual, what's new, but the way that it goes with, oh, I'm obsessed. The way that it goes with the gelade is just amazing. So I think it's gonna have to be a keep. And as for the actual gelée, this was so hard to get my hands on. I literally went in the stores, sold out, online sold out, and then I signed up for emails. She's so cheeky. I signed up for emails and I was like, notify me when it's back in stock, yes please. They didn't. I went on the website, they had one extra small left. Did they tell me? No. So it's a good job I checked, but now I got it, so that's the main thing. Hey! And it was so worth the stress because I love it. It's a bit cold to wear, but hopefully when it warms up a little bit, maybe in like Feb or something. No, not Feb. March, <laughs> um, I can wear it, it's a bad. And then this is actually a bodysuit, which I'm 100% keeping because I feel like when you like layering like me, so like sweater vests, wearing a turtleneck with a jumper over the top, you can't go wrong with simple turtlenecks, like they just form the base of an outfit. And this one's really nice, it's quite thin, but warm at the same time. Yeah, couldn't recommend more. Layering, it's all you need in the winter, honestly. Look at this, it's a summer top but we're wearing it in the winter. Well, it's not winter, it's autumn, but you know, colder seasons, that's what I love. It just makes clothes so versatile and you can just wear them all year round instead of having to put away your whole summer wardrobe. Obsessed with this. The skirt, mm, not so much. I'm not really into this type of thing. I just thought I'd try it out for those that do like it to see how it looks. And to be fair, it does not fit that well and it's not that flattering on the bunda. Um, kind of feel like a library school teacher in this. I would most definitely myself wear some ripped jeans or some black sleek flares I think um, and just keep the whole outfit black and then you've got the pop of colour but if you do like this fair enough you do you boo but I just I'm not vibing with it at all I don't think it's the right outfit but I didn't know what else to pair this with so okay this dress gorgeous but with the black mm, I'm not so sure I think it's because there's like the white detail here that would need to be white or cream otherwise I feel like from afar it doesn't look like a whole dress but it's not as you can see it is sleeveless but I feel like if you have that contrast it looks so much cuter black is not doing it for me very flattering dress very comfortable dress um kind of tempted to keep it because I'm going to be working in the office soon the office and I feel like just with some tights and then I need to try and find some sort of boots because your girl doesn't have any, um, then that could be a really cute outfit with like a blazer or a puffer. Um, so yeah, it definitely has potential, but it's just not paired with the right thing. And let's just envision it. 
I think that would make this outfit go from like a, a six to a nine, personally. But yeah, very cute. I bought this before I bought the rest of the haul, so I've had this for like over a month. And when I tell you, I live in it. Do you know when you have that one jumper or that one item of clothing where you don't want to put it in the wash because you're going to miss it? That's this. This is my baby. I love her. Slouchy. I think I got this in a large, so I oversized because I wanted it to be one of those slouchy, almost could wear it as a dress, maybe. Probably not. <laughs> you could wear cycling shorts under it, though, or leggings. Just the best thing ever. And I've noticed H&M are getting more and more stuff like this, which is so exciting. Like, the more streetwear, slouchy kind of unisex vibe clothing and it's just it's everything so yeah definitely check out their range because they have quite a few different variations of this i think and it's just so perfect for every day and as you can see i have layered it like i said i would with a turtleneck for the colder days or when it's not so cold you can wear it by itself you could wear it over like a bodycon no no what <laughs> This is a bit of me. This top is stunning in every way. It's flattering, it goes in at the waist and you can determine how tight it is from tying it. The arms are loose, which is a feature that I always absolutely love. It's cropped, but if you have high-waisted trousers on like this, it's not too much stomach if you are insecure about that. And the part is in the back. I couldn't move the label because it's just there, unfortunately. Um, and I also couldn't do it at the top of it, but you get the vision. It's cute. I'm not going to keep it, but I love it. Ladies, can we have a little commotion for the dress? Damn, I'm obsessed with this. Only thing is it just keeps shifting, so I'll keep putting it down. It's such a nice flattering material. It's got a very low neckline, so depending on how big your chest is, that might be a problem, like it is very low. But I feel like if you wore some nice necklaces, like I'm looking a bit bare right now. It's so flattering, it stops here, so it's a really nice kind of above the knee length. It cinches you in all the right places. So comfortable. Oh. Am I gonna have to keep it again? I don't know though because it does keep moving. And for me, no matter how pretty something is, if it keeps moving, if I have to keep adjusting it, no, I don't want it. Um, so I don't know, but I am obsessed. And I always keep saying, I need a little black dress. Like I need a casual black dress. I don't have one, but then at the same time, this isn't something I'd wear to work because it's a bit too sexy, but it's also not something I'd wear on a night out because it's a bit too worky. So it's like that awkward in between, when do I wear it type of thing. Love this dress. I actually got the black first and I was like, damn, I need the brown. Got it. <laughs> Haven't actually worn it out yet because again, I don't know when to wear this. Like it's too much for work like too sexy for work but then also wouldn't wear it for like drinks etc because it's not maybe i would though maybe if i wore like heels and like a blazer then it would look cute because to be fair i'm not into dressy dresses so that would make sense but then like day to day i want to find a way where i can style it down so maybe that would be with some tights and some chunky boots and a puffer there you go, I just did it. But I definitely need to get somewhere out of this. I feel like more in the spring, summer, I'd get wear out of this and that's probably why I'm not wearing it so much now. Absolutely bloody love it. And look at that with the bag and the nails the and the hair and the skin, the coordination. It's a chocolate dream, baby. I love it. And it's really flattering, really comfortable. Rides up a bit though, so you've got to be careful. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today and do not forget to check out that link for Anna Louisa in my description. As I said, you'll be saving some coin and obviously you can either treat yourself or get someone a gift, but so worth it. I'm not stressing about having to change my earrings up every day now, so definitely go and check them out. And you may as well subscribe because it's free. I know. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.